Marie Blyback dead. It was like, that's what my family was doing. We're in your home. house? They were hearing knocks. This hair is over a hundred years old. Hiram! Yeah. <laughs> what? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, I feel like I need to do my intro like more like a, how do the elite YouTubers do it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a haunted doll today that we're gonna go investigate. I can't do it, it's like too much energy. It, it kind of hurts, like it, it's painful. I'm just gonna introduce Ashley, guys. I cannot YouTube. Ashley is here with me. Hey, Ashley. Oh, hi. I'm oh, so she, <laughs> she's like, wait, me? Where are you going? She's been hiding. <laughs> so this doll is a hundred years old. It is Ashley's haunted doll. She has had some weird experiences with it and she brought it over to my house. She was like, hey, do you want this doll to, I don't know, do things <laughs> with? <laughs> yeah, you want to do things. This is Marie. We found her in my grandma's garage. We were cleaning out her house and they had trunks and trunks full of family heirlooms that go back to the early 1900s. So that's kind of where she comes in. I saw her, immediately thought of you, so. Did you hear that? It sounded like someone was knocking on the door. Ew. Marie. I'm gonna check the door. There's literally no one at the door. It was like, yes. do you think it's like the spirits wanting us to Maybe. That's what my family was hearing. When we brought In your home. house? They were hearing knocks. What? <laughs> My dad and my brother, the two big skeptics. They kept hearing knocking. Okay, that like gave me the chills. Yeah. So that's why I brought her to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't want that. All right, this is Ashley's box. Um, it's from London. It's, very it's from London. This box actually has items inside that belong to the previous owners of this doll, which is wild. So prior to this, Ashley had sent me a photo of the doll and she was like, do you feel anything weird with it? And I got a vision of a newspaper because we were trying to figure out the story and what happened. And so I had, to, I was like, is there anything with a newspaper in there or some sort of newspaper article like we couldn't really figure it out and then I mentioned hair that's what you reminded me yeah what did I say you told I me you keep saying something with hair I'm like well a doll doesn't really have hair like I yeah. don't know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah it happened a while ago so we're trying to like remember everything that happened but then she goes into the trunk of it came in this big old giant trunk yeah yeah so you were going through it and you found newspaper articles that described what happened to the owners of the doll how they died their obituaries <laughs> like locks of their hair which is wild so Ashley's like dude you won't believe what <laughs> I found in here so I want to open this and see what I don't know I just want to see like what we feel and if anything comes through life can be magical mysterious creepy and surprising however some of these surprises aren't the greatest but there are ways to protect yourself if you're seriously injured in an accident did you know that your injury could be worth millions just in the past couple of months Morgan and Morgan saw a verdict of 12 million dollars in Florida 34 times the highest insurance offer plus the fee is absolutely free unless you win you can start a claim with America's largest injury law firm in just a click start your claim now with more Morgan and Morgan at ForThePeople.com slash Kelsey Davies. What happened in your house? Because her mom was freaked <laughs> out by something. Oh yeah, my mom called me screaming on the phone. And I remember I called you right after. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was scared. She was home alone and she heard a loud crashing sound, like a big bang. Thought like a whole shelf fell over. So she went to go check it out, stood right in front of my room and it happened. So she started screaming. She calls me and says, somebody's in the house. So I'm thinking a real person. Like, yeah, like trying to rob the place. And her mom's been a skeptic oh, for yeah. a while with things, but recently she's kind of been more, I don't know, of a believer. I feel like this kind of did that for her yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. So that incident happened, so we were kind of weirded out by it. Then we started having issues with the garage door. It was opening and closing all night long. My mom had said that she felt that someone was trying to like reach out to her by doing that. And we were all getting ready to leave, so no one was going to be home and the garage did it again and then it started to smoke 
and like catch on fire. Cool. So it was like letting us know, hey, something's going on. Yeah. Something's here. The fact that Tito's been acting so weird. Dude, what are you <laughs> doing? He's like acting so weird right now. He was fine all day and as soon as we bring out the doll, like, I don't know what he's doing. I believe that there's a lot of residual energy with this doll. I don't know if it is like their ghosts, if they're attached necessarily, but I do feel like there is a lot of that old energy mm -hmm. just with all of this all together. Even with that trunk, I think it was just all condensed in there. And yeah. as you guys opened it and released it, all that energy came out, like a hundred years of yeah. all, of, you know, all these things. So this is is Marie Blyback. She's your, what would she be? I think we said she was like my great, 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 great aunt. Great, so great, 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 She's great, the great. greatest aunt ever. Great <laughs> aunt. When Ashley first came over, I saw a girl with brown hair. And so I was standing yeah. over by my stairs one day. It was shortly after the doll was here. And I felt someone playing with my hair. So I turned around and obviously no one was there. And I had this vision of a girl with brown hair and I think it was Marie just like by seeing this photo it looks very similar to what I was seeing and she's in this brown like outfit that I, I saw and it's interesting because the doll's like in a brown <laughs> or I don't know if it was brown originally maybe yeah because you can tell this thing's been a lot of different things over time <laughs> it looks like because I don't think they made them like that I don't know no. unless they did I've seen some, they're very different, but this one you can tell it's been changed and many different things and she's been broken and put back together. Yeah. I was sleeping one night and I had, or it was early in the morning and I woke up to a girl saying Daniel, like trying to wake me up, but saying the name Daniel. So I have no idea. We couldn't find anything about a Daniel, so I'm very curious as to who that would be or what that was. So these are the newspaper clippings Ashley found. She found a ton of them. Like, look how many there are. From everything we've gathered, we believe that Marie, she was the older sister of Minnie, and Minnie had passed away at a young age. I think she passed away when Marie was like around 10 years old is what I was mm -hmm. picking up on. That's like one of her earliest memories is her sister passing away. And it was really just a lot of grief, a lot of sadness with that. We believe that this might have been Minnie's doll that Marie kept out of grief. Here's the hair! I found the hair! I think this might be Marie's hair, or is it? Because I think Minnie's hair is the lighter. There's little chunks of Minnie. This hair is over a hundred years old. You can tell it's just toddler hair almost. And know. Minnie died, what, 1902, I think it said. It's just crazy to see that hair just stays the same yeah. even after hundreds of years. And they always say that hair is almost an antenna for a spiritual... Uh, I think in some cultures, if you have super long hair, you're more prone to being like connected spiritually, which I've always loved my hair long. I feel weird when it's short. I, I don't know. I think hair has a lot to do with your senses mm -hmm. and spiritual and things like that. Marie Blyback dead. That's crazy. This is how she died. She died dead. <laughs> she dead. She dead. She's <laughs> dead. I can say that it's my family. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow we think Drew and I are related. Well, this is a weird thing, okay? So I had an experience where Drew's grandfather came to me and Drew didn't tell me anything about him. He showed me all these medals from the Air Force, showed me that there's something in his chest, which we found out a pacemaker. And I was like, it's Grandpa R. It starts with an R. And Drew was like, oh, that's Grandpa Rice that you're picking up on and everything was very accurate to what I was telling him. And Ashley finds this photo and it's the Rice family. What if Ashley and Drew are related? Distant cousins? cousins? Somehow. Well, I feel like we're all kind of distant cousins, like everyone. Right? But it's just so weird. There's one photo I found, but it looks like Drew. Like the guy looks... <laughs> It's true. <laughs> mm? Are they related? Comment below. Let us know. What was that? Let us know. My dear Marie, desire not to live long, but to live well. How long we live, 
not years, but actions tell. They lost their daughter Minnie, then they had another daughter, mm -hmm. and then named her Minnie? It, it was a weird... What? This is the other Minnie. Minnie. Wait, she was the one that had that weird article. I wandered alone at sunset down by a purling stream. I lived in the past and the future. I lived in a misty dream. For her to like write that. What is that? Something you keep on you for like good luck or something like that. And thus it is ever with mankind living in future or past. There's a lot with like the future and the past. They did this a lot with all their like friends or family like photos. Cross. Yeah, they would make a cross out of it. So I think oh. these were all photos of people who had written letters to her in here. But I, I came across a few different ones in the Record. trunk. And then there's these like fabric pieces yeah, too. I was just looking at some. I'm wondering ones. if this is from like a dress or what this is. This one's interesting because it's circled. The old soldier passes away. The funeral services of Hiram. Earl, Earl. Rice, Drew. <laughs> Grand Pesity. Yeah, what's Earl. Did you hear that? I did. Wait, I literally was hearing something and I thought it was a neighbor, but so, yeah. I did. What was that? Did we already show the obituary of Marie? We have many. Bernadette. Bernadette. Marie died September 16th, six days after my birthday, 1910. So she lived in the same era as Lola. That's crazy. And died about the same age. Yeah, died at 18 years yeah. old. Lola died at 18 years old. Maybe that's why they were kind of They kind of were vibing, yeah. yeah. I never hear things like that and it's just happening like right yeah. now. Isn't that weird? We want to go on a mission today and we want to see if we can find Marie's grave. I'm going to be using the spirit meter. If you want this app, the link is down below in the description. Just be safe while you're using it. <laughs> Treasure. Dresser. Dresser. Funny because I had her stored on this dresser behind us. <laughs> There's something about 2.30 and it I said know. that Hiram died at 2.30 p.m. I heard 2.30. Hiram! Yeah. <laughs> what? 2.30? Look! Yeah. The funeral service. <laughs> It says the funeral services of Hiram Page will be held at 2.30 p.m. That's weird. So is Hiram here too? This could open up like to your family. The trunks that all of these things were in, it was like their entire family's History. Things. Yeah. That's there was teeth, like dentures, like <laughs> weird stuff. I have one of your hair right here. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> I have one of your hairs. It's ours? Oh my god, it did say that. Is this your little hair? I got your little one of your little hairs. Can you tell me whose hair I'm holding? Is it okay if we go to your grave? Go on. Sounds like I say Yeah, maybe. Would you be okay with that? Yeah. Funeral. Daniel. Did that say Daniel? Daniel. Who's Daniel? A brother. Like, it literally just said brother. It said brother. But I didn't see a Daniel in there. I don't know how many kids they had. Let's go find her grave. Okay, Kelsey, how can you tell me Drew is not related to this man? Dude, that is that, Drew. That is Drew. That's literally Drew. Drew is him. He is Drew. Wait, turn your head the other way. That's Drew. If Drew's hair was styled that way. No, that's Drew. Drew just time traveled. That's him. That's There's... literally Drew. That's me in the future. In the in past. The, in the future. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all are related, I swear. I swear. <laughs> uh, Kelsey? <laughs> what is, what is that? It's my adventure hat. I'm ready. You look like you're gonna go spy on someone. In the I'm sky. gonna spy on the spirits. We're ready. I am Detective Kelsey, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Um. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Well, this is my adventure hat. Oh, <laughs> it's fluffy. I like it. Wow. It'll be warm. Adventure awaits. Look at us go. <laughs> look at us.
sorry guys, we are 12 minutes away. We're 12 minutes from finding the great, wait, where is Marie? Do you have her? I do, she's in the Oh she's my god, I thought we left her. She's chilling in the Lulu bed. Okay, she's vibing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. We have like the exact spot where the grave is at, so we're gonna see if we can find it. I always thought about like finding Lola's grave, but for from what I've seen, her grave's in a backyard, uh, like a private house, a private property. Because I think during the Spanish flu pandemic, it was so, there were so many deaths and right. there wasn't room in cemeteries, so I think they just buried her in like the backyard with her family or something. So it's just crazy that we're going to like her grave. Right. Ah! A haunted doll grave. Ten minutes away. Ah, guys, it's right there. I see it. Her grave. Her is that section good. A block nine seven? <laughs> Wait, what That's is it? it? We just have to find a number. Section A D block B three lot twenty five space A. All right, <laughs> Siri, can you please take us? <laughs> We're gonna find it. Have We're gonna you seen do this it. Grave? Have you seen this grave, sir? Have you seen this grave? Marie's probably just shaking her head right now. She's like. Mm -mm. She's sick of us. These crazy <laughs> girls. These crazy girls. I think we would have been friends though, you know. Guys, we're here. Wait, oh, was I supposed to pull? Oh my god, I missed it. Wait, you hold this because I Kelsey can't double task. Ah! Ah! Okay, this should be easy to find. It doesn't look too big. I know. At least. <laughs> it looks pretty small. It does. Oh. This is so weird. Is there like a map? How does this work? All right, Marie, can you lead us to your grave? That'd be nice. I wonder if she has a big one or... I know, because there's some on the ground. All right, we're trying to... This is like an old looking map, but it looks the same to see the little yeah. thing. Okay. She is section AD. AD. Block B3. Section AD. Dude, this is... I don't even know if this is updated or... It looks old. Cool. All right, we're driving. We don't see any, like, numbers. Numbers, so I guess we'll just stop somewhere and see if we can find it. So, ah! I'm kind of being drawn that way. Yeah. It's just not even like numbered or sectioned off. Right, but it is small, so I do have a good feeling that we'll find it. These do look kind of older. Huh? Maybe. I guess we're just gonna feel it out. Much harder than we thought. Ah, it's hard because I keep like looking down. We're trying to see because there's a lot of, you know, them on the floor. And I keep seeing people at the corner of my eye. Then I'll look up and no one's there. It's so wild. And then there's some with nothing on it too. Yeah, like this one doesn't have any words. We both feel like it's over here though. Marie, can you please show me something? Guys, the craziest thing just happened. Okay, so we were about to kind of give up hope and I was walking this way towards the car and in my head I heard go left. And I was like, I kind of like ignored it. I kept walking and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna trust that because sometimes I'll ignore it. And like, whenever I ignore it, it does me wrong. Okay, anyways, so I heard go left. So I walk over here and I couldn't, I was looking all around here, you know, at all the tombstones and I closed my eyes and I was like, spirit, please show me where it is. And I saw a blue flash of light in this direction. I walk over here and oh, I find it. And her mom, her, her, her parents are right there. I literally kid, I found it. Ashley. <laughs> Whoa, it's just so wild to me. Like you just never get used to this stuff. It is so wild. Dude, I was about to give up hope and I was just like, hey, please tell me where to go. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> this is just so like surreal to me. Okay, her parents are, her dad and her mom. is it Luis or Louis? These are your ancestors. <laughs> I know. Hello. Wow. <laughs> the weird part is too, I kept walking this way after all that happened and I saw a stone and it said Alan Andrew. That was the name. And Drew's name is Andrew Allen. Okay. So I was like, that would be so weird if she's right by him. Maybe that's a sign. And I kept walking. Boom. See, we are related somehow. <laughs> uh, no, that's weird. Like that was, I'll show you guys that in a minute. But what the hell? 
I want to see if she's the one who led me here or if it was like my guides leading me here. I'm not sh I don't know, but that was wild. <laughs> we were looking for like a good 20, 30 minutes time, too. Yeah. I should have just done that from the beginning. I just, I didn't think it would work. I don't know. Okay. Anyways. That's it's crazy! <laughs> Are you able to spike this up, this meter I have in my hand? I don't know who guided me here or if it was just source or what it was. If Marie wants to come forward. I think it's just the fact that she's buried right under where we're sitting right, right. now. Like her bones and remains are right here. I want to see if she wants to come forward, if she wants to say anything. Um, I'd like to just pay my respects to any spirits at the cemetery. You just so you know we're not here to make fun of you. We're here to just give you a voice and thank you to whoever who guided us here. And thank you Marie if you would like to come forward. If you have anything to say you're welcome to i'm glad we can reunite you with your doll oh i just saw someone walk behind I you like, i heard something she said something about her family are you glad that you're near your family your parents something right next to you is that to your right? That's where I saw something walk behind you. Was that you that I just saw? I wonder if that's her sister, Mabel. Oh, that is a Mabel. Because she got, would have gotten married. Is that your sister next to you? Your other sister? Because Minnie's family? buried somewhere else, In right? another <laughs> Still with her. I just got the chills. Wow. Is Minnie here with us? I was going to say, I feel like they're trying to come. Yeah, for sure. This is your ancestor. This is your uh, great, great, <laughs> great uh, nie niece. Mm -hmm. I almost said nephew. And I'm named after you. Yeah, maybe you should ask questions because you're in relation. Are you happy that we brought the doll? It always wants to talk when I talk. I know. <laughs> Was this important to you? Is it a special doll? <laughs> Someone wanted to buy her own. Was it your sister's? Are you glad we brought it to you? To your grave? It's literally, uh, this has never happened, look. Maybe it's they- not today. Maybe I can pull out this and see if they want any images. Cause the last image they gave me- <gasps> It was? Cause this is what I got when I was holding the doll. It almost looks like she's playing with something too. It's so weird. Isn't that bizarre? Yeah. It was on a live stream too. Like I cannot make this up. <laughs> this came through as I was holding her. All right, we're gonna use Ashley's. Marie, are you here with us? Was this your doll or Minnie's? Marie. Marie. Can Marie talk to us? Hello. Say hello. It? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Marie. I'm Ashley Marie. She's named after you. Yes, she knows. Can you tell me who led me over here? Three of you. Yeah, who was the light? I heard something like you saw me. <laughs> well, thank you whoever did that. Do you have any questions for your ancestors? I know. <laughs> Can you tell us how you passed away? Were you sick when you died? Oh. Is that your dad, Louis or Luis? Are they here with us as well? Yes. Yes. I keep seeing want. a female. Like I feel like the mom's definitely here. Yes. <laughs> I keep seeing images of them all together. Like you know how they take a family photo while putting their arms around yeah. each other? That's what I keep seeing. Like they are all together. <laughs> Lewis just came through so loud. It was like, <laughs> Lewis! <laughs> Is Hattie here? Yes. Three. They keep saying three. Three. Three, three, three. Yeah, they're all three here. Oh, and a little triangle here. Thank you for coming forward. We really appreciate it. It seems very peaceful here. This is a beautiful place to be buried. Are you happy that we brought the doll? I want to hold it. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> it really is beautiful right now. It just feels so, they feel so at peace. They really do. They get that vibe. Yeah, like they're in that blissful just state and it's magical. It makes me happy.
If I looked and it goes Allen, Dale, Andrew, and Drew's name is Andrew Allen, but it's Andrews, and look at Wallen. What? And it was literally right there. That's but then, funny. Isn't that weird? Like Drew's name. You're related, it's a sign, I swear. That was just crazy. I can't believe we found it. Guys, we were walking around for so long. We went through every single little thing and even though it seemed like it was so mapped out and like this is the exact spot we yeah. even talked to the guy up front and he's like well it could be somewhere over here or somewhere over here and it wasn't yeah like we tried to look and tried to figure it out and it was like <laughs> it was mapped out for how it used to be so he had no idea where it was it was chaos but then all that happened and somehow freaking found it <laughs> ah! <laughs>